Hi, this is my submission into the 2022 Makers That Rock collaboration. Makers That Rock is a collaboration of YouTube makers, including woodworkers like myself, who recreate album art covers. I'll be recreating the Beatles Let It Be album art from wood. To get my project started, I asked my daughter to use her iPad and the Procreate software to convert the album art into polygons of no more than seven colors. I also asked her to create a plain line work version of the album art so that I could glue these to my work pieces and use them as cutting guides for my scroll saw. So with these in hand, I can get started. I've got a progress update here to get some whiter wood in contrast to the yellow birch. I ordered some holly online uh, to cut out things like the um, eyes and teeth. And I've done most of the scroll saw work so far, M have made quite a few mistakes. For example, when I cut out this piece of holly, I followed the original line. But when I made the original cut, I didn't follow the line too closely. And so now this is the wrong shape. So I've traced the extra areas here and I'll have to find a way to remove those. Here's a Ringo flipped upside down. Got a little bit of work to do on the eyes to get those to go in. Here's Paul flipped upside down. Just some cleanup work here. And then I've got some major problems with George I'll have to address. When I cut out the teeth, I have the opposite problem here. I cut them too small rather than too big. So I'll have to remake those parts. That's just too much gap. Now, there's a feature on my jigsaw that allows me to make use of these files. So my plan is, uh, for example, with this half round file to clean up the extra areas here. And then I can use this knife. I think I can actually use this just by hand to clean off a couple of burrs so things like the eyes fit in better. Oh, and somehow I've lost the mustache, so I'll have to remake that part too. Okay, I can share a progress update. I've glued down my back veneers and glued on hardwood siding all the way around. A little bit of sanding there to do. And I'm using just a utility half-inch plywood substrate. 
Uh, the next challenge here is I've got my pieces cut out for John, Paul, Ringo, and George. And they'll go about like that. But, uh, of course, first I have to stain these their final color before, before I can glue them down. And in order to do that, I'll be taking them apart. So there'll be lots of little pieces. On top of that, there'll be these dividers along with some framing pieces and this this white border this is holly it'll go uh, all the way around each portrait that'll be repeated here in the center and then the white frame will be repeated all the way around and then I'll have the uh, trim pieces I'm just going to do butt joints all the way around uh, the issue I have with this is if I were to try to glue down this front face all in one go, it would be pretty tough. So what I've done is I've created a, a template here and I made a mistake. I cut it a little too skinny, so I had to shim it up. And what I'll do is I'll line this piece up on my witness marks and then I'll glue this border on Then I'll dye everything black, front, back, and, and these sides. And then I'll come back in once this frame is in. Then I can start in one corner and then build out this way with all the little pieces, gluing them down as I go. And if I've measured carefully enough, by the time I get to this corner, there will be no problem fitting John in his square. Fingers crossed. So I've got a lot of black in this album art. And I'm getting ready to mix up the black writ dye to go ahead and dye the wood. Normally, I would put de-wax shellac on my work pieces to control the blotching. But in this case, I want very deep penetration of the dyes. So we'll not be using the seal coat for this project. Okay, I'm ready for next steps. I'm going to be gluing in the uh, cross members and the holly framing that goes with that. And then once that's glued down, I can start infilling the stained pieces. I'm using a spray finish to eliminate the risk of pulling up the color uh, with a wipe-on finish. Uh, this is exterior spar urethane. The reason I chose this product is because I had some left over from the Captain America project, which was an exterior yard decoration. This is the fourth and probably the final coat.
Okay, well it's finally done. My Makers That Rock Let It Be album art cover. This is mostly yellow birch glued onto a utility plywood substrate with a few areas of holly. I did glue the veneers on the back as well and I bound the edges in the same yellow birch plywood. To match the coloring that my daughter chose in her artwork, I used various mixtures of writ dye to achieve the correct color. I think it turned out okay. If you like this sort of project, please check out the other videos in the 2022 Makers That Rock collaboration.